Hi ladies, this is Jules. Um, I wanted to show you what you can do with my Graphic 45 Inspired Clothes Pin Kit. And I have it for sale on my blog right now. And my blog address is thejewelbox02.blogspot.com. Um, if you're not sure what you can do with it, I want to show you uh, what you can and what, what it can look like. Um, so I'm going to show you mine because I just did mine uh, the, within the last couple of days. So the kit comes with your choice of whatever graphic 45 paper that I have listed on my blog. I'm using the Domestic Goddess. So uh, Lady it comes with your choice of paper. And then it comes with a sheet that's, uh, I believe it's French novel, um, but it is in the French language and it's very vintage. Uh, it comes with a hymnal sheet, so you can use the music sheets, uh, the music uh, notes here. And then um, it also comes with your little kit here. Um, the There are four charms that I have available that you can choose from. Um, so you choose two of the four, and there's very detailed pictures on my blog um, that you can check out. So, and I'll also show you the pictures of my the entire uh, close pin up close of the one that I did. So, um, comes with um, a lot of little goodies, and I just wanted to show you what uh, what you can do here with yours. So, okay. Um, first thing, I took my pin apart. Here's my close pin, and she's very pretty to me. Let me move my light just a tiny bit to. Face it. Okay. So this is my my vintage uh, Lady of the House domestic goddess clothespin. Okay. Um, what I did is I took the uh, actual metal piece apart and I pulled them uh, pulled them apart. Here's the other side of it. And I used some vintage. I used a lot of vintage photo. I used aged mahogany and I used um, tattered rose, uh, Tim Holtz distress ink to um, use on my flowers, on the paper, actually on the, on the wood itself before I even adhered any of the paper I used um, the vintage photo. Um, I keep mine in baggies because I don't have that little twirly thing yet um, and that, I'm going to do that because I, uh, I hate ripping these off because it's all juicy and ugh, it's nasty. So I have just a few of these. So anyways, um, I used my vintage photo and um, distressed all the wood everywhere that I can think of so it has that dingy look here and up here. I mean everywhere. I used it everywhere. Okay. And then um, I got my strips of paper um, that I cut up to fit. Um, I cut off, well, whatever. You know, you'll get the picture. I um, cut strips of paper and I was going to use one entire piece for the front, but I'm like, no, I wanted to, sp I wanted to split it because it just doesn't, I don't know, to me it looks weird. But you can leave it because it'll totally still um, you can still open it and close it, and it's not going to disturb the paper if it's laying straight across, if it's all one piece. So um, I ended up using Mod Podge as my glue. Um, after I cut my paper off, uh, or cut it up, I used uh, a nail file, because I don't have a paper edger, but I used one of my nail files, the one of the coarse ones. I used one of these. It's very coarse. Um, and I just distressed all the edges of the paper, and then I adhered it. So once I adhered all of the paper um, on both sides, including the inside, and I wish I could take it apart again because, um, but it's, it's really hard to put back for me because of my nails and stuff, <laughs> and I've already broken some off, but anyways, there is some of the sheet, um, some of the graphic 45 sheet here, and I used Mod Podge on, on that too, and, and I distressed, I used the distress ink on the paper first before I adhered it, and then once I used the Mod Podge, I kind of just curled the edges over to kind of uh, give it an old paper look did the same thing um, on this side right here in this corner. It's lifted. Um, and then I cut up some of the strips of hymnal paper and I adhered it in strips um, all along the back side with Mod Podge. So I used the ladies on this side and then I used the actual black wallpaper uh, florals right here and then I adhered the music sheets back there. On this side, um, I just kept the lady's face and um, I just wanted to um, show her off a little bit. So I used one of my paper flowers um, that one of them comes, uh, which ones is it? These ones come in the kit. But I have some other paper flowers, and they're not Prima's. They're Prima inspired, I would say. And I used um, some Glimmer Mist. I used uh, like Latte in Vintage Pink, and I colored it, and I put a little bling on her hand because she had a ring, and I uh, wanted to just give her that diamond that she deserves. Um, I wanted to do an interactive um, 
piece on here somehow. So in your kit it comes with two by four, two by no, two by six, I believe. Where is it? Um it's a two by six strip. There's two pieces in here. It's um it's some cardstock and it's pretty thick. It's nice and thick, so you can use it to, for tags. That's how thick it is. Um, so there's two strips in here, and what I did is I just folded it in four, and um, I made my own little album, my own little picture book or whatever. So here's some paper flowers and some pearls. Um, your kit comes with these string of pearls here, um, and what I did is I used it in here down here too, and the vintage lace. But what I did is um, I just cut the little pearls off of the string and used some glossy accents and a different little pearly gem. Uh, here, I don't know if you could see that, but it's a little pink one. It's about the size of, it looks like a cone, kind of. Um, and then I just used glossy accents and I just uh, laid them around. So um, I did use a glimmer mist on uh, my flowers. And um, I cut a piece or ripped a piece of the... Um, hymnal paper and I put it on the top like a cover of, your, of a book and with glossy, you know, with, a, with Mod Podge I curled the edges and then um, I left it plain inside because I'm going to add some photos of my husband and myself and set this back here real quick and um, use alcohol ink on my crown and I um, went ahead and adhered that with uh, my hot glue gun so I use the actual tag of uh, the label that tells you what kind of paper line and, and paper collection it is. And I cut it out and I used some Distress Ink on it and uh, put it on there as the title <laughs> of the music. So, I don't know, you know how people say that, you know, when you're in love, um, I guess music and, and, and love is involved somehow and related somehow. So anyways, I wanted to use that as, as if it was like a title of a song and there's the music and that little elegance of the pearls there, on the string of pearls, and, uh, and then my crown, because I'm the goddess of my house. Yes, I am. So I did this little, um, it's, I don't know if I want to do any matting, or if I want to um, use maybe some of the hymnal paper, or any of the French book uh, paper to use as mats. I'm not quite sure yet, and I could still add that. I just used some of the, um, uh, that sticky tape, and, um, adhered that there and then tie that with this with the lace ribbon that comes in the kit here's some other lace uh, vintage lace that I distressed with ink and um, I cut out this lady and put her here and use some of the string pearls and three rosebuds the kit comes with three rosebuds and uh, four paper flowers so you can use it however you want also comes with the leaves and so I just gave it a lifted look and an old look so the back side since there's the legs see the legs there. I am, to me, it was just very sexy. So I wanted to um, put some sassiness in there. So I used some, some of this black lace here. And um, I thought it just gave it such a pretty, pretty touch. There's there. And this comes, and there's a whole foot in your kit. And there's my goddess. These are paper flowers that I used my paper punch, um, a flower paper punch, and I cut cut these out of the French novel page and some pearls that come in your kit and I use those as accents. Um, I made these leaves out of one of the flowers the leaves back there. So I want to collect that there. And then I use some, uh, these are not Prima Bling, it's a different line, I can't remember which one it is. Um, but you can add your own touches to what you, what you want in there, okay? And another flower and a rosebud and leaves that I cut out and bling. So, okay, I'm going to follow this with some pictures so you guys stay tuned, okay? I just want to show you what you can do. Go to my blog, thejewelbox02.blogspot.com. All right, ladies. Bye.